Why the heck is Godzilla pink? Holy crap, that's Godzilla. Holy crap! Out. Wait, hold on. Hold yeah. on, is that pink? Who said Godzilla can turn pink? They put yeah, him on man. Dive. He can run now? Don't worry. I don't feel like that's, we I feel like that's Godzilla's daughter. Oh my gosh, that might be Godzilla's daughter, bro. This episode will not only give possible reasons why the G-Man changed colors in the new film Godzilla I don't think maybe that's not Empire, Godzilla, bro. But also provide a breakdown of what else Godzilla will be able to do with this new form. But before we start, don't forget to All give right. us a like and subscribe. I already liked the video, baby. Let's go! Step on your house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just kidding. That's terrifying. Begin, let's address the elephant in the room and talk about why pink. For those that don't know, this is not the first time we've seen Godzilla be portrayed in a similar color palette. Going back to 1999-2000. Bro, he's not even frozen right there. He's like an embryo or something like that, right? Or is that frozen? Godzilla be portrayed in a similar color palette. Going back to 1999-2000, Godzilla was featured with spiky dorsals with a purplish pink hue. Oh, Additionally, yeah. Additionally, this animal featured spikier skin as well as sharp, jagged dorsal plates. These subtle purple and pink hues can also be seen if we go back in time to 1994 where we see space godzilla's crystallized yep. formations contain these hues almost 30 years later godzilla will revisit this color palette in godzilla kong but yeah this but why exactly why the g-man is pink here now before we begin to dish out theories we'll drop a disclaimer here and state that the material mentioned in this episode is pure speculation and should not be considered canon to the monsterverse unless proven true after gxk is released all right the best dude clues we have as to why Godzilla turned pink can be found here. You can't miss it. Pink hues embedded in the ice can be clearly seen. Yeah, okay, you can see the pink Godzilla hues. Frozen in the ice, evolving into a more powerful form. As per IGN's article released before the trailer, this pink coloration, or better described as magenta-hued energy, is something that is not newly introduced in this film. It's evolved? Yes, we see a vast amount of pink-colored crystals in Hollow Earth caves, and we were introduced to plenty of pink-colored crystal structures in the trailer, but if we go back in time to the events of Godzilla vs. Kong, we'll notice an interesting detail. In this clip where Nathan Lind and company breached the Hollow Earth's veil leading into the vile you can see vortex, purple. we witnessed all sorts of coloration appear on the windshields of the heaves. These were most likely some visual of magnetic or energetic currents ah, that I see. Okay. by the Hollow Earth exploration craft. This phenomenon also occurred in Monarch Legacy of Monsters. And what do we see here? Pink. Indicating that this color... Yeah, but why turn Godzilla pink, bro? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Coloration along with the blue color signature could be one of the several energy forms found down here. Keep in mind that this is science fiction, so not everything will align with the actual science. However, an interesting takeaway from this is that the color signatures or hues seen so far displayed by Hollow Earth phenomena closely resemble that of auroras. Ah. What are these? Ah, okay. These are light displays that happen as a result of disturbances to the Earth's magnetosphere caused by solar wind, which happens to be highly radioactive. And All one right. of the colors that is seen in an aurora spectrum happens to be pink. In addition to a few shades- Bro, this- this dude! Come on, Goji Center, you are talking in circles right now, bro! ...of blue- what the heck? How, why is he pink, bro? Yellow and orange, all which we've seen in Legendary Godzilla. Other colors, such as the light greens, are also reflected in some of the Hollow Earth's crystals. How does all of this tie in together? Godzilla here could just be simply absorbing one of these forms of energy that already existed in the Hollow Earth. Okay, which is there we go. ...to be a more powerful energy source. As a result, the G-Man's dorsal plates, which are responsible for expelling and storing this energy, will now reflect this pink hue. And not wow. only that, something that always matches the color of these dorsals is Godzilla's atomic breath, Yo. which also happens to be, you guessed it, pink. Is he going to be more, more powerful? Note how we haven't seen how this pink atomic breath reacts upon hitting the target, but it's likely that it will produce a different type of destructive damage. Is it hotter than the blue? Well, it's hard to tell. Ah, uh, okay, Note okay. Blue-colored flames are one of the hottest, if not the hottest, in the temperature spectrum. Magenta ah. isn't really found here at all. But looking at the RGB color spectrum, what we find that this color is the combination of red and blue, the hottest and the least hottest of these, making the effect huh of the new atomic ray a mystery and yeah definitely. all right maybe one of you know maybe you guys like study the, the atomic breaths is this a hot breath or not grabs in this cinematic universe so it may or may not be more powerful than godzilla's blue atomic breath 
back to this clip, we find that this color is not exclusively found in crystals, but in forms of energy that take some sort of organic form as seen here. Yeah, Almost that's what I was saying. Like veins of some sort that's serving as... That's what I was saying. It looks like an embryo. Conduits for this energy. Yes, this stuff is probably an extremely strange form of energy that humanity doesn't understand. And perhaps the world is better off leaving this energy to be wielded by just titans and not humanity. <laughs> yeah, Which exactly. The question, is Godzilla the only one wielding this new form of energy? Our best guess, probably not. And oh, lovely, why. dude. Lovely. Now that we kind of have a good theory of why Godzilla turned pink, we need to think of the purpose behind this evolution. Note that this said more powerful form is probably a response to something that happened before this evolved state. Yo. Before, Godzilla used to glow blue, wielding energy that was probably surpassed by another foe. That's right. Something or someone caused Godzilla to go take a nap and evolve. Perhaps someone who is also wielding this power. Who? Oh. Well, it's common knowledge by now that Scar King isn't going to be the only big kaiju around here causing problems. Really? There is some cave art floating around, originally found in Call of Duty's Warzone Godzilla vs. Kong event, showcasing this creature, who was confirmed to be also appearing in Godzilla. What? Kong. This animal. Oh, we're gonna get new titans in here, but sick. Proportions features what seems to be crystallized formations along its dorsal plates, possibly wielding an energy form that was able to best Godzilla's power, forcing the G-Man to then try to acquire this same energy to even things out. If mm. true, we are seeing Godzilla become more powerful out of necessity and not ah, just because. Okay. We'll cover this additional titan in more depth in a future episode. Subscribe to not miss it. This new energy that we are introduced to did a lot more than just make Godzilla glow pink. The absorption of this energy came with more interesting side effects. That's he right, looks a lot different. Godzilla is seen to wake up with a few relative upgrades, if you can call them that. Godzilla is now seen to be a lot more leaner. Yeah, he looks like he went on a diet, especially bro. Especially from the abdominal area and thighs. The advantages of this evolution are the following. Less weight to move around, allowing Godzilla to run even faster than before. This does look a bit bizarre, but makes some sense given that these new, less heavy appendages do allow Godzilla to lift his knees higher and make much longer and faster strides. Which is him rare to see. Making faster than when he charged Ghidorah in King of the Monsters. The disadvantages of being leaner would be the possibility of being lightweight. This weight disadvantage would be offset if Godzilla grew much taller, but this doesn't exactly seem to be the case. However, one indisputable upgrade is the presence of longer, more muscular armature. Yeah. Godzilla isn't too bad at using his forelimbs for combat. In fact, he's actually pretty good. But now, in this film, he'll not only have better reach, but also be able to use them as an extra point of yeah, stability. Yeah, you can see like longer how arms, how long his arms are. Allow him to take a more effective quadrupedal stance, allowing him to stand up faster, crawl, or even climb. We can expect Godzilla to be an even more fearsome combatant thanks to this new design. Frankly, Dude. this was actually required for Godzilla since Scar King will most likely be a strong and agile combatant. The new Titan? In some cases, it also helps a lot if you're much more agile than the big, heavy opponent. Man. Godzilla has All right, you guys, listen. Goji Center really told us. He actually did break it down. Eventually, man, I was getting a little bit concerned that we weren't going to get the answers there for a second. But uh, I feel like it's it's just Godzilla is a lot stronger or that's his daughter somehow or something like that, dude. I really don't know, man. Let me know your theories down below. I'm actually interested to hear them. And I will see you awesome, amazing, beautiful people in the next video. Bye.